finally going to happen. I've been dreaming about this day for a long time. Do your best out there, Monarch. I've got your back. Of course, I have heard rumors about that blade you're carrying. So, if you don't mind, I might choose to lean on you for support, too. If we all take care of each other, then we'll be unstoppable for sure. We need to make our way to the other side of the Coliseum. Both groups start on opposite ends and meet in the middle. That's where all the chaos ensues. It'll be pretty hectic. I'm counting on it. It's been ages since I've seen a real battle. Do your best to stay out of danger, Monarch. Leave this to us. There's no need for you to risk your life unless you need to. Our targets are Draco and Pro. We should do our best to avoid senseless casualties. Vivian's reign should begin with as little bloodshed as possible. It's a bit of a walk, so let's get started. The battle will start in a few minutes, so we need to be there. Some leader I'd be if I showed up late to my own fight. Look, I don't know if what they told me was true, but if that blade is some sort of ancient relic, don't showboat. Anything other than strength and strategy will be seen as cheating. That blade may have powers to help you out in Baltius, but not here. Do your best to blend in as a regular combatant, all right? I don't want you putting Vivian in jeopardy out there. Fighting for a better future. Our hopes and dreams will carry us to victory, I know it. Of course, Ulrich's sword arm will sure be a big help. No need to put on the pressure, Vivian. But I know you're right. This is all I've ever wanted. And with you two by my side, I know I'll never fail. Stay back, Monarch. Let me and Vivian lead the charge. Yeah, just make sure to stay out of danger. We can't have our future ruler falling in battle. No! Hey, Monarch, are you okay? Monarch! Give me, Monarch. It was either them or you. I had to make a decision. Give me your hand. We need to keep things moving.
Stay close, Monarch. This must be what Draco was counting on. If we can break free, then victory is surely ours. The strategy it seems desperate. And that means he doesn't have anything else up his sleeve. Get us out of this, Monarch. Use that blade if you have to. I can't have you getting in the way. I have to do this, Monarch. Please forgive me. Give it up, Pro. This is what I was meant to do. Changing Alarinthia means everything to me. I can't let you win, Ulrich. We need Draco's strength to take down the Triumvirate. You can always come back and change things after the war. Never! Are you really willing to die for this? Think about what Draco can help us accomplish! If a choice is between fighting alongside Draco and death, then yeah, I'm willing to die for this, Pro. But I have to ask, are you willing to kill me in the name of my enemy? Y yes of course! If you're willing to kill me, then do it! Show me that our friendship means nothing to you! But we're family! No, that's just an excuse you made up. Why are you saying this? Because I don't believe you're willing to kill me. But I stand here ready to kill you at a moment's notice. That need for friends and family to be loved, that's your weakness. All I've ever wanted was to change this nation for the better. You, Tomek, the monarch, you're worth less than pawns to me. So I'll give you one chance to kill me. Take my life, or lose yours. Ulrich, stop!
that's the way it is, huh? You're a fool, Fro. Always were. Know that your death will create a better niche. And hopefully, that will lead us all to a better world. Looks like you were finally good for something. He's waking up. We were so worried, Monarch. We didn't know if you'd recover. Ulrich did some damage. Your nose is broken, but if you give it time, you'll be totally fine. the next step with our alliance finalized we need to head back to Mizeo. after some swift preparation we'll launch the assault on Balteus. this is it we've come away from this with more soldiers than ever the triumvirate would not expect us to recover this quickly but here we stand stronger than ever before we can win this war we would advise not mulling over this sacrifice it secured his victory. Yeah, Pro may have not sided with Vivian, but he sided with us. We're still going to secure the future he was fighting for. Alestia's future. He was a dear friend, and this loss will give me more power, more resolve. A good outlook. Wasting time to mourn could cost us this entire war. We must make our way to the docks and meet with Vivian. Focus on the things that are within our control, Monarch. So, should we just start walking to the docks? Let's make sure to stock up on lots of water. The journey back isn't going to be any easier. Whoa, hold on a second here. Before we go, I have a question to ask. Ulrich, why did you do this? You could have waited and went after Draku! Hey, I asked you a question, you coward! Tim. I know we have an alliance or whatever, but who cares? We've lost one of our friends. Why is nobody even sad? We'll have plenty of time to grieve after this war is over. Plus, 
plenty. And I, I'm sure we'll be losing even more. But if we give up and mope around, we'll lose everything. I'm not forgetting about him for a time. We just have more important things to focus on. Let's get to the docks. We can talk more in the trip home. That's part of the problem, Valesa. I don't even know what home is anymore. It was Valinorth and then Mazeo, but everything around us is getting destroyed. And I thought home was being with our friends. But now they're dying, Valesa. Fine. Forget I even said anything. But we were betrayed, plain and simple, by one of our own. It may have gotten us an alliance, but it's still a betrayal. And in my books, people like that deserve to be punished. So you can push this aside or whatever, but I won't. This is a crime that needs to be answered for. Well, I guess maybe venting like that could help. Let's just get it out of the way while we're walking, all right? Every moment we waste makes our enemy more prepared. Well, it's time for a brief break. Let's get some water and then head back to the docks. If I remember correctly, this means we're halfway there. What do you want? I just wanted to apologize, Fortin. You'll understand soon. I had no other choice. There's no way you're sorry, Ulrich. I saw no hint of remorse on your face when you killed him. And even now that you're apologizing, you don't look sad at all. That's not true. I'm being serious here. Well, so am I. Just leave me alone, Ulrich. We'd all be better off without you. You have my back in this, right? What happened was way out of line. I know that everybody is focusing on the war right now, but I can't do that. This is just too much to take in. What should I do? Are you going to forgive this? Maybe I'm just processing this faster than anybody else. I know it's hard because of how close we all are, but a crime is a crime, plain and simple. Friends shouldn't get a free pass to commit atrocities. I don't care if other people forgive him. I never could. He needs to be punished, like any other criminal. Alright, but just take my advice. Don't do it while everybody is still in shock. Let them process these events and form an opinion.
Vivian, there you are. How does it feel to be the one in power? It's hard to believe, actually. I expect that it'll set in after the upcoming battle. I'm a man of my word, so I need to help you out first. Wait, don't tell me you're coming with us. Don't you have things to take care of over here? It's nothing that can't wait a few days. The attack is happening pretty soon, right? I can leave things in the hands of a few friends for now. Fair enough, and yeah, you're right. We plan to launch the attack within a day or two. Once we get to Maseo, we need to take care of business. I mean, final goodbyes and stuff like that. After we leave for Balteus, we might never return. We need to make sure that we leave with no regrets. Have a little faith, Domic. If anybody can take down those gods, it's us. We just overthrew an entire nation. I think that's a good sign. Gods, <laughs> don't make me laugh. You know just as well as I do that they're weak, like us. The true power rests with the one who can wield that blade. Terribly sorry to intrude, but I need to have a word with the monarch. If you'd be so kind as to give us some privacy, I'd be forever grateful. A hostile greeting. I don't blame you. You're only treating me the way I treated you. So after this hostility, I expect mercy. Remember, if it weren't for me, you'd be dead. I submit to your authority. Restrain me any way you wish. I only want to talk. When you get back to Maseo, we can go our separate ways. Vivian, restrain this man immediately. Take him to the brig and make sure he can't escape. He's unarmed and alone, so do it before he starts anything. Once we set sail, come and talk to me, Monarch. I have some information that you might want to hear, including the true identity of the Mole among your forces. Sorry about that, but we need to get out of here and fast. If we stay in Alorinthia any longer, they might figure us out. And so we definitely can't hear what I'm about to tell you. Come closer, everybody. I'm afraid that I've been keeping a secret from all of you. But it's not just me. Hold on a second. You'll see what I mean. You can come out now. <laughs> oh man, it's about time. There's nothing I hate more than hiding. Sorry for worrying all of you, but we had to do it. Yeah, I'm not the best actor, you know. I think people were starting to see through our lies. Come on, cut it out! It's enough to know you missed me. But we really need to get going. Fast. Yeah, if they find out we cheated, we're done for. I know you want an explanation, so let's talk about it on the ship. We should set sail right away so nobody catches on to us. 
Wait, you cheated? How are we going to break this news to our new partner? If they find out, they might just break off our alliance. We worked out in their benefit, so I doubt they'd care. Let's get going. We'll explain the story on our way home. I'm so confused. Don't worry about it, Domek. We made it out of this without any casualties, really. A, a few members of the reserve forces died, but that's it. Thankfully, none of our seers fell in combat. We have more strength than ever before. That's what matters. Attacking Balteus will be as easy as the snap of a finger. All right, then, I trust you. But you better have a good explanation for this. Let's get going, everybody. We have a long voyage home. Cheating is not something we agree with. Such tactics are what our current enemy employs. This journey seems to be changing all of your values. But he's still alive. That's great news. I was really freaking out. I didn't know what to do. Don't tell me you think it would be better if he was dead. Maybe. Means to an end, we suppose. The enemy likely thinks the same way. Let's go find out what they have to say. I'm also curious about that other man we restrained. <laughs> There's so much going on right now, I can barely think. Yeah, I want to figure everything out. I was worried we'd be attacking Balteus without all of our friends. But to know he's still alive? I can't even begin to describe the relief. Whoa, it's not that bad, trust me. But it's definitely the biggest score of my life. I mean, swindle an entire nation? Amazing! It all started after the attack on our HQ. Domek cheated death, and we rose from the ashes. Then, we were going to Alarincia, where I knew we'd be fighting. So I thought, what if we could cheat death again, but to our advantage? There was so much room for error that we stepped in to even the odds. I knew that Ulrich would side with Vivian regardless, so I went to him. I didn't want to work with Pro at first. It seemed like a plan doomed to failure. We really cheated an entire nation, right in front of their own eyes. Obviously, it sounds impossible, but Pro was pretty insistent. We came up with a solid plan. I'd fight with Vivian, and he'd fight with Drakey. If we were both on opposing teams, we could throw the battle in any direction. So that's what we did. We ensured victory for the side the Monarch chose. It was easy enough to manipulate Draku. <laughs> I mean, he thought he was the one manipulating us. But it was my plan all along to fight by his side. After that, all we needed was this. Along with some chaos and acting, they believed the battle was over. The chaos, of course, was the moment the monarch used the blade. We pushed you toward using it so we could have our opportunity. That's really all there is to it. None of you could know until it was already over. If information was leaked, everything would be for nothing. You're free to come back to Alarinthia, but we might stay behind. It was just in our best interest to get away before they figured things out. So yeah. A new alliance, minimal casualties, and a great story. I'd say this was an all-around success, wouldn't you? Yeah! I can't believe we really pulled it off! 
I think this might just be my masterpiece. That might be the coolest thing I've ever heard. I knew you were a swindler pro, but this is crazy. You're using your skill to shape Alestia's history. And Ulrich, I never knew you were so good at acting. You really had me sold there. I almost can't believe it. It felt like something was up, but do you think it was this? Almost puts my strategizing to shame, I have to say. So what's the next step? Is it just smooth sailing now? I imagine our chances of getting caught are pretty low. You should probably tell Vivian what really went down. I doubt he'd mind, and at least he wouldn't find out another way. In the meantime, we need to have a word with our new prisoner. Right, I'll tell him while you do that then. But I think we've also earned some much needed rest. Let's take the day off and meet back up here in the morning. That is, if it's okay with you, Monarch. Sylvia's in the brig, right? Can't believe he surrendered. Just like that. And I heard him say something about a mole? Let's go talk with him, Monarch. You deserve some answers. Yeah, let Dominic pamper Vivian for the time being. But before we head to the brig, look behind us, Monarch. It's starting to look like an impressive army, isn't it? My, my, I wasn't expecting an entourage. Should I be flattered or concerned for my safety? Explain yourself, Sylvie. I'm seconds away from throwing you overboard. Again with the hostility. Look, I don't even really know what I'm doing here. It just felt like the right thing to do, given the circumstances. What circumstances? Back when we attacked your HQ in the Zale, my goal was to kill your friend and retrieve the blade. I failed both objectives, and the Triumvirate punished me. I see. You are 
are correct. I found out that the Triumvirate was lying to me. I let you live because I wasn't sure of what to do next. I'm still uncertain. When I got back to Balteus, they punished me by placing me in exile. You expect us to believe this? Sova, you're nothing but a mindless slave. The monarch survived because of his strength. See, Ulrich? You're always so paranoid. Listen to your friends before making snap judgments. I have a lot to say, so you better learn to trust me again. Don't count on it. So, what did you want to tell us? Around here, you need to earn your keep. Ulrich was serious about throwing you overboard. Well, this is where it gets complicated. I still consider myself a servant to the Triumvirate. But Halen? Well, I want nothing more than to see him fall. I'm not here to hurt any of you. Not this time. As you can see, even though I broke out of my binds, I am playing nice. Right now, all I can offer is information to aid your attack on Balteus. And why would you want to help us take down the Triumvirate? Doing so would involve taking down Halen as well. He sold me out and got me into this whole mess. Okay, then let's say we take down Halen. What then? You'd be reinstated as Inquisitor and just stab us in the back. You speak as if people aren't capable of playing both sides. Either way, I don't know. I'd make my choice when the time comes. And what makes you say that so easily? You've served the Triumvirate for your entire life. No, not my entire life. They welcomed me with open arms when I was young and broken. Now here they are, inflicting the same wounds they had promised to heal. Is that supposed to make sense to me? No, because it barely makes sense to me. Now, Pro, will you let me say what I have to say? Sure. If you want to take down the Triumvirate, you'll have to enter their chambers. I've never seen them leave, and I don't expect that they ever will. I always thought they were hiding, but I don't think that's true. There's something at the back of their chambers. Something off. It's like a spirit idol, but the very sight of it fills me with fear. I'm not sure what it is, but I have a few theories about it. I think that maybe it's their source of power. But I'm probably wrong, as that seems to be the trend lately. Either way, its destruction should be your top priority. A spirit idol in their own chambers? That those are conduits for the monarchy. It makes no sense that they keep one close by. Their main goal was to destroy all of the idols. <laughs> nice try, but I'm not going to believe any of this. Let's go, monarch. We'll ditch him in the Zale. Visions of the Triumvirate's chambers. When were you going to tell us about this? I'm not finished yet. I suggest that your attack focuses on entering their chambers. There, you could take down both them and this dark idol. However, you would have to fight your way through Halen. And that's where my next piece of information comes in. Halen may seem just like you and I, but he's not. The Triumvirate created him with that blade. He was made to be the perfect soldier, 
He would always serve his masters, no matter what. Little did I know that loyalty was stronger than our friendship. He promised not to tell them what happened. But the moment we got home, he sold me out immediately. He lives under the Triumvirate's thrall. A true mindless slave. You must never let them get their hands on that blade again. They aren't limited to suits of armor. They've mastered it enough to create life. Of course, their first test was Halen. They needed someone trustworthy enough to serve them. I think they did it to ensure that nobody else ran away. My previous master, the former Grand Inquisitor, defected. I trusted Halen and the Triumvirate. They all betrayed me. But... There's your information. I'm sure it will help you out. A possible weakness, and the true nature of Halen. With that blade, you could even give him freedom. It would release the spell that the Triumvirate has put on him. Of course, that's not how I'd like things to play out. I would prefer it if you let me kill him, Monarch. That is all I ask for in return. I won't get in your way. If you grant me this, I would be further in your debt. So, do you trust me? Good, because there's two more things to talk about. And now that I've earned your trust, you have no reason to doubt them. I saved them for last because, well, it involves dishonesty among your ranks. Well then, do you two want to tell him, or should I? I guess it's time. I'll go first. My allegiance is with the Rebellion. I can promise you that. But that wasn't always the case. It's all in the past, ages ago. Sylvie is trying to harm our trust with ancient information, Monarch. I knew this was going to happen. You'd own your trust with a couple of interesting facts and then attack. This is subterfuge. My past has no bearing on my current loyalty, but I knew this secret would come out sooner or later. That's the real reason I sided with Pro to cheat the Colosseum. You'd know my loyalty was with you, no matter what. Delaying, as always. He's scared of you, Monarch. He knows you might throw him away. No. The Monarch would never do that. Not after what I did for our cause in Alarinthia. So go ahead, Sylvie. Watch your plan crumble and fall. Grand Inquisitor Ulrich. That was lifetimes ago. Ancient history. He's using a dead past to try and hurt us, Monarch.
I realized that the Triumvirate was my true enemy. And that's when I decided to join the Rebellion. You really thought this would work, Sylvie? I never said I was intending to hurt you. This is merely information that might help you in Balteus. Ulrich has inside knowledge, Monarch. And he can wield the blade. It's your choice if you let this information hurt you. But in your situation, I would be relieved to know. Now, there's no need to keep any more secrets. Hmm. Go on. Tell the Monarch, Pro. It's time for him to know, don't you think? <sighs> so, I guess I'll start from the beginning. Um, my parents abandoned me. They didn't die in the occupation like I tell everybody. I've always wanted to know one thing. Why? None of my searches gave me any useful information. So, over time, I grew more and more desperate. One day, the Triumvirate reached out to me. They said they knew the truth about my parents. But, in exchange, they wanted me to give them information. Details about the Rebellion. It seemed like a harmless exchange. But over time, they started to ask for more and more. I gave them so many secrets, but got nothing in return. It wasn't much longer before I quit. I had enough of their lies. But the damage was already done, wasn't it? Yeah. What was the last thing you leaked to them, Pro? The location of our new HQ. The tunnels. It was a good hideout, right under their noses. They'd never find it, unless somebody told them. That's right. Pro is responsible. His leak enabled us to attack you in Mazeo. All of those lives. The blood is on his hands. No! Like I said, I quit! They lied to me. They knew nothing about my parents. All they wanted was somebody gullible enough to serve them. It doesn't change what happened, Pro. Now, Monarch, how do you take this? Hey, I, I proved my loyalty. Just like Ulrich. I put my life on the line to serve the Rebellion. There was no guarantee we'd survive the Colosseum. I made up for what I did. All those lives we lost, we got them back, and more. Our Alarinthian allies will help us win this war, hands down.
so much dishonesty in the air. Wouldn't you agree? I want you to look at your comrades, and then look at me. Unlike them, I've been nothing but honest with you. I would rather have an honest enemy than a cheating friend. That's part of why I wanted to talk with you, Monarch. I know that we can be open with one another. Very well. We're meeting on the deck come morning, then. I'll make sure to be on my best behavior. I respect you, Monarch. I always told myself that I'd serve the rightful rulers of this world. It just seemed like I was also lied to by the Triumvirate. Just like Ulrich. Just like Pro. We're victims here. All of us. I may have realized it late, but was it too late? I guess we'll see. Very well. It's only fair. Have a good rest, Monarch.